Welcome to another edition of Digital Marketing 101. I'm Solomon Timothy. I'm super excited about this question, which is how do I create valuable content for my organization? I wanna help you understand a little bit more about content, of course, when we're creating content, we have to think about the person that we're trying to create this content for. Where are they in that buyer's journey, right? Are they in the awareness stage? Are they in the consideration stage? Are they in the decision stage? In order to really create valuable content, you have to first identify why are we creating this content in the first place? Is this to help somebody understand that we're the right product or solution or if you have this problem, we can solve it or this content is gonna help us become a, a better alternative to something else that's in the marketplace or is this content going to help somebody convert because of the fact that, hey, they've already considered us, they're going to convert, right? This is a really, really important piece. The way to create valuable content is to really decide, should this be something that you're gonna gate it? Is it like an ebook or a download or something? You're gonna gate it, is it gonna be ungated? How much value is this going to provide to the person that's going to read it, right? If this is a life-changing content, you invested all of this research time, your experience, it's a really valuable content. You're gonna get rewarded for it. The more time you invest into creating the content, the more valuable it ends up becoming. The more questions that you answer, the more times it's gonna show up on Google. So think of it like this, a topic, pick a topic and you have a core piece of content. People call this like pillar content and skyscraper and things like that. So you can look up those tactics I want really just encourage you to think of it just like a topic and then create additional pieces of content around that topic. And again, this is a timely thing, right? There's probably 10 blogs that connect to this one main piece of content. And that is the only time that you talk about that topic on your website and then you interlink the content around it. I really want you to pay attention to this. Interlink the content around it and make sure that those keywords are not duplicate. Think about it. Those, these keywords are not duplicate. They're unique or close to it as possible, but they're not the same. So there's no cannibalization of the same keyword across all the content and the middle and so on. What a lot of companies, they do over the years is that they write one blog and then another blog, another blog, and then over time, if you look at the title of these two blogs, they're almost the same. And this one is 500 words, there are 800 words. This is written by a different writer who wrote more. And then Google, this is 700 words. Google's like, for the same keyword, almost the same keyword, which one should I rank? And they're not interconnected. There's no link between these two, or there's no link between this one and this one. No links, they're independent web pages on your site and they're not linked and they're all talking about the same thing. So no matter the amount of authority you build, this is going to hurt you because Google doesn't really know which one of these four should I rank. That's what you wanna get away from. You wanna get away from creating more content for the sake of creating more content and you wanna create something that's going to help a person go from becoming aware of your business to considering you to buying from you. And to create valuable content, you have to really think about why you're doing it and how frequently you're doing it. You're deciding to gate it or ungate it, and that's an argument in itself. If you wanna gate it, that's great, but think about the people that you're gonna lose because they don't wanna enter their information to read this content. I think you're better off having ungated content so that when they actually watch your video and content, they convert and say, hey, you know what? I really like this company. I wanna work with them. If you gated everything from here, they're never gonna go here. If you get everything here, they're never gonna go here. So you wanna gate a few things. I'm not gonna say not gated at all, but you don't wanna gate 90% of the stuff. You don't wanna be like, oh, I gotta download this, I gotta download this, I gotta enter my information, forget it, I'm leaving. While somebody else on the other side of the planet is giving all that stuff away for free, they're gonna find that content and they're gonna end up buying from them. Why would they come do business with you? Think about that. The world is going more and more towards Google indexing everything and anything. Only way Google is gonna index your content is if it's not gated. There's no form to submit to watch a video or a webinar or anything like that. So I'm super excited for this question of, hey, how do I create valuable content? Number one, figure out why you're doing it. You need to make sure what is the end goal. Is this a lead generation piece? 
Is this an awareness piece? Is this for them to move them along the next step? Maybe they do some sort of a self-assessment, an ROI calculator, maybe they fill out a quiz. What do you hope to accomplish from this content and where does that content belong in the funnel? And that will enable you to get a better handle on content creation, the quality of it, and your expectation of what is going to do for you. So this is a great question. We create tons and tons of content for our clients from every format that you can imagine, from pictures, text, images, audio. We wanna make sure that we can answer the questions for you as well. So if you have more questions about what type of content or how do I create valuable content, send them our way. We have a lot of consultants here that can help you really identify what your challenges are when it comes to creating content, especially valuable content as the quality part gets harder and harder as time goes on. As more content is being created, quality becomes even more concerning, right? So I wanna make sure that you're not wasting your time, energy, money, resources, creating content that is not helping you go to where you're trying to go. So if you have more questions, reach out to one of our consultants. We'll love to have a conversation. Secondly, if you love this video, click that like button, consider subscribing, turn on the notification, and leave me a comment. Tell me exactly what your content challenges are so I can follow up with you one-to-one. -one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.